30 years ago on October 17, 1989. The Battle of the Bay continues. During Game 3 of the World Series. <laughs> cheering turned into panic. And up above us, the lights are starting to shake a bit. You can see this building is collapsed. What you see here now is the remnants of a fire. From people being hit by flying objects. A magnitude 6.9 earthquake along the San Andreas Fault. A house that slid off of its foundation. Caused Bay Area buildings to crumble and freeways to collapse. Which a section of the Bay Bridge has collapsed. More than 60 people were killed in what became known as the Loma Prieta earthquake. This by far is the strongest earthquake I have ever felt. Thousands of faults weave through California like a spider web. Some have yet to be discovered. San Andreas is the most famous in California because of the damage it has and will cause. We are due for the big one. The fault is not just one surface, right? When it breaks in a particular earthquake, you usually see one surface. But it'll each different earthquake might move a slightly different place, and you end up creating a zone that can be a variety of width. We took a tour along the San Andreas Fault with world-renowned seismologist, Dr. Lucy Jones. Here's what she says will happen during the next big quake. Transmission lines, if the fault doesn't run through the tower, there's often enough flexibility that they can move and stay up. However, if it runs through the tower, it's a problem. These rocks could literally be in the air. I mean, this is actually not the safest. I mean, mostly I want to be outside with nothing to fall on me, but these big boulders here could literally be thrown in the air. Geologists say the southern part of the San Andreas Fault is 100 years overdue for a major quake. A large earthquake on the San Andreas Fault could be catastrophic for major cities anywhere close to it. It would have pretty severe economic effects. Uh, the shaking would damage uh, thousands of buildings. A lot of people will die. Tim McCrink is a geologist with the California Geological Survey and says even things in your home could be deadly. If you have gas running to your house and your house breaks. You can see this building is collapsed. They don't know if people are still in there or if they... Right, something severe happens to the house. You break those pipelines. Now you're pumping gas into the atmosphere. It doesn't take much to ignite that. We've passed the 100-year mark since a massive earthquake on the northern part of the San Andreas Fault. In 1906, an earthquake in San Francisco killed 3,000 people and caused fires that burned for three days. Half the city became homeless. The fire probably did more damage to the structures and perhaps to, to lives than the earthquake itself. But the earthquake itself did a lot of damage. The city hall was brand new and um, was almost completely destroyed. We know it takes decades um, to recover from these things. And we know that just from the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake. Uh, they had their 25th anniversary uh, not too long ago. And um, the word that I heard from that was that they were just finishing rebuilding some of the buildings in Santa Cruz that were damaged by that earthquake. And it'll take a while for help to come. We're pretty much at the center of the San Andreas Fault along Big Pine Canyon. If the big earthquake hit, all the roads around me will be impassable. It, it affects everyone, and I don't know how you can't, you know, to look at your landscape and say, why? Why not? I mean, why, how can you, you know, just, it's uh, very boring to just accept everything as being there. The big one on the San Andreas Fault will happen at any moment. The question is, are we ready?